is Lina. In this tutorial I will show you how to needle felt a sheep. For this project you will need a needle felting mat, some felting needles, I mostly use 36 triangle and 38 star. I also recommend using a handle that holds multiple needles together to speed up your felting. Some natural white wool bedding, wool logs, glass safety eyes, some glue for the eyes, a bit of brown wool bedding for detailing, I also used some pink eventually, and finally a pair of sharp scissors. That's all you will need. I often look at reference picture when felting. If you want, you can download the picture of this ship. See the link in the description to this video. Let's get started by making the body first. Take a piece of wool bedding and roll it tightly into an egg shape. Felt the wool using 36 triangle needles. Try to needle felt it into the center so that the core of the body will be dense and leave the outer surface fluffier as we will be adding more fibers on top. You can use multiple needles as well. Keep adding more wool to get the body of the size you would like. The shape that I got in the end was 5 inches long, 2.5 inches high and 1.5 inches wide. For larger shapes, if you are not satisfied with density, you should use the full length of your needles. Here I show how that can be done using a clover needle handle. I just remove the pink tip to use the full needles. While adding more wool, try to make the shape look like the body of a sheep. You can mark one side of it to make it easier. Here I mark the back of the body with a pin so that I don't mix it with the belly. As the shape gets denser and 36 triangle needles starts to get more resistance, you can switch to 38 star needles. Here is the final shape that I got for the body. Next, let's make the head. Take a smaller piece of wool, roll it into a tight cylinder and felt in the same manner. Keep in mind that sheep's forehead is wider than the chin. Here we have our head. Now let's make the neck. The neck is going to be a cylindrical shape with both ends left loose. 
When the neck matches the other parts in firmness, let's first attach it to the body. Use 36 triangle needle to attach it and try going as deep as you can to attach the neck firmly. Attach the head in the same manner. I wanted my ship to look left, but that is totally up to you. Feel free to choose any head position you would like. After attaching the head, add some more wool to the neck to make it thicker. Use 36 triangle needles. You can use this type of a base for making many other animals like horses, cows, llamas, goats and etc. I add some more wool to the chest and then some more to the head. Remember to switch to 38 star needles when you are working with the surface. Now let's make the four legs. Take four equal strips of wool and roll them into a tight long cylinders. Both the front leg pair and back leg pair should be symmetrical. So I suggest making them at the same time. You can use either 36 triangle or 38 star needles for the legs. When felting the legs, make the hoof part thinner and do not felt the top part so that you can attach the legs to the body. Make sure to make the legs firm so that your animal can stand. To make the knees for the back legs, I bend the leg and add more wool to the knee part. Also, back legs are larger, so you can add more wool to them. But you can do that later as well when the legs are already attached to the body. Also, check the length of the legs relative to the body as you go. When you are happy with the legs, attach them to the body. Again, use 36 triangle needle and go deep. Make the tail in a small triangular shape. Felt the tip of the tail very well, but leave one end loose to be able to attach it to the body. When done, needle felt the tail to the body. Notice how sheep have their tail hanging. Next make the ears. You can make them either separately or in one piece as I do here. Needle fell two flat ear shapes using 38 star needles. Add some pink wool for insides. Usually I add some more white on the other side of the ear 
as the pink starts protruding a bit in the flat shape. But here, I like a little pink on the other side as well, and decided to leave it as is. After the ears are done, I attach them to the back of the hat. You can put it on like a hat, really. When attaching that part, underline the ears so that they stand out. Now let's make the ship's face. Cut two holes for the eyes with small scissors and glue the safety eyes in. You can also needle felt the eyes, but glass eyes look much better. You can get a large assortment of eyes on Amazon for just a few dollars. Feel free to check the needle felting essentials link in the description to this video. I update that page with the tools and materials that I use at all times. Take two tiny pieces of wool and make the eyelids. Make two flat round shapes and then fold them in half and felt the folding edge. Leave the outer part loose. When attaching the eyelids, cover top half of the eye and attach them in that position. After the eyelids are attached, you can carefully lift them by needle felting. Be careful not to scratch the eyes. The eyes are done. Now let's make the muzzle. Use 36 triangle needles to outline the nose and the mouth. Then use small amount of brown and pink wool to articulate those features. Use 38 star needle. Finally, let's add some more wool logs to make our ship look like one. Use 36 triangle needles and felt deep to attach the logs. That's it, your ship is complete! Thank you for watching this video! Subscribe to my channel if you like needle felting! Until next time!